Good morning, everyone. How are you? I am about to read, because you know I have my book out, which is called Quickie. Get that, get that, get that. Support a bitch. Damn. But anyway, I'm about to read an excerpt from one of the stories in my book, because as you know, it consists of seven short erotic stories. Um, and the title of the book is Quickie. And the title of this story in the book is I Love My Husband. My husband left to pick up his childhood childhood friend that's coming to visit us. My husband would ask me my opinion about him, and I would simply say, he's okay. According to my husband, both of them were ladies' men back in the day. When they arrived, I was in the kitchen performing my wifely duties of preparing lunch. To my surprise, he was sexier than the pictures. We said hello. He and my husband went to sit by the pool. By the way, my husband's name is Desmond, but we call him Des for short. I took them something to eat and a beverage. There was something about the glance that seems to captivate the depths of my soul. On several occasions, we would make eye contact when Des wasn't looking. I wanted to immerse myself in that enticing glance, but he would quickly look away. One night, when we all went out for drinks, my song came on and I started humping and grounding on Des, which was creating this whirlwind of sexual desire in me. Every now and then, Chris and I would make eye contact, but he would immediately look away. I'm starting to have a love, hate, I want to fuck him kind of feeling. When we arrived home, my husband and I were horny as hell. We said goodnight to Chris. Dad's grabbed me tightly by my face, face and slammed his tongue down my throat. We tongue fought for a while. He flipped and folded his tongue in my mouth and sucked my teeth. Oh, yeah, we're funky. We're, we're fucking kinky. He ordered me to get my little ass upstairs. But as, as I was about to march, he grabbed me by my arm, pulled me back, and sank his teeth in my shoulder. I moaned with pleasure and pain. He covered my mouth with his hands and said, Bitch, shut the fuck up. Then he licked my neck like a cat and said, Get your little ass upstairs now. See, my husband is an incredible lover and totally knows how to give it to me just like I like it. When I got upstairs, Chris was coming out of the bathroom. I had a thought to run up and kiss him. But just as I was about to make a move, Dan shouted, Baby, you ready? I replied, Yeah, babe. All the while, Chris and I were lost in each other's eyes. Then he tiptoed back into the guest room, and I quietly went to our room. So that's a quick little excerpt from my book, Quickies. Uh, and the title of this book, as you know, with seven short stories, is... Uh, I love my husband to hear the entire reading of my um, story in the book, Quickie. This story is I love my husband is to go to um, my blog, which is realsextalk.blogspot.com. I like to say thank you guys for watching and, um, and riding with your girl. You know, I'm on a quest. And also, don't forget, you know I'm also a designer. Take that shit real serious. It's not a game. Um, and I also have my service called Seductive Art, which is around around sexuality, of course. Uh, duh. Um, I teach visual stimulation. That's where my brand comes into place, me as a designer and a stylist. I teach women how to visually stimulate their partner, not only in the bedroom, but also through everyday uh, life. You know what I'm saying? When you look good, you feel good. And also in the bedroom, like with each um, outfit that you wear and the personality that goes along with it um, and how to act that out. Then we have real sex talk and then we put on our heels and when I teach ESS, which is an erotic, sensual and seductive dance. 
Uh, so if you ever having a bachelorette party, girls' night nice out event, uh, birthday party, want me come, want me to come and speak at a, an engagement that you're having, please holler at your girl. Email me for more details at uh, real fashion, real fashion at yahoo.com. Um, I just like to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, please pass the word, share, like, subscribe. You know all that shit. Uh, I would appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Woman on the quest, black business, black artists, support that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. You know, I'm here every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 a.m.-ish. You know, uh, YouTube got my account on a motherfucking hole. I can't go live. They said I violated some shit, which I don't even motherfucking understand. Like, what? But anyway, I, I can't go live until October 18th. So all my shit is pre-recorded. And, um, yeah, let's get it popping. We're going to get this sexual motherfucking revolution going. Erase all these dumbass stigma, uh, taboos and, and stigmas that goes with sex and sexuality. And um, i like to say thank you so much for watching. And may you guys have a beautiful, blessed, and fucking good day. Later.